An injured veteran got the chance to meet Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman this afternoon. Senior Airman Michael Malarcy was blinded by an explosion in Afghanistan in 2010. Despite his bravery and challenges, Malarcy thanked Wyman for her dedication to Connecticut's servicemen and women, especially those who have been wounded. Malarcy met Wyman on the way back from a trip to Washington, D.C., where he lobbied for a cause that is certainly dear to him. Yes, Fox Connecticut's Louisa Mulder explains how this airman is using his remarkable story to help others. Michael Malarcy is one of the few airmen who saw combat in Afghanistan. Myself and a teammate were aligned with Army units from the 4th ID in Fort Carson. In fact, it was the last thing Malarcy ever saw. We ended up walking into an ambush that we weren't prepared for. Multiple IEDs, uh, lots of small arms fire. The ambush killed four men in his patrol, leaving Malarcy with a broken jaw, broken nose, skull fractures, and permanent blindness. The last thing that I remembered was a buckle being strapped over my chest on the helicopter. But even without sight, Malarcy is still able to say this. We've been very blessed. While recovering at Walter Reed Hospital, Malarcy met his wife, Jesse, a military widow who lost her husband in that very same attack. They have two little girls, a baby boy on the way, and then there's Exxon. Exxon is the Fidelco guide dog who Malarcy says turned his life around. Everything completely changed. I could get around and do the same routes that I was trying to do before in half as much time, and my confidence went way up and I was just excited to be out and be in society again. Which is why Dog and owner took a two-day trip to Washington, D.C., telling dozens of lawmakers their story. Bringing a lot of focus to these animals and what they can really do for service members like myself. In fact, Malarcy says Exxon is helping him go back on active duty for the Air Force, helping other injured vets like him find their way with the help of a friend. Louisa Moeller, Fox, Connecticut. On Sunday, Malarcy, Jesse, and Exxon will be helping to raise money for more dogs. The Fidelco Guide Dog Foundation is holding its annual fundraising walk at the Simsbury Performing Arts Center. That's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.